First, he lost his job as a restaurant worker, and then, after nearly losing his life to COVID, he lost all of his belongings. Coming home from the hospital to find building management had cleared out his apartment. Everything was gone except a piano and his pet. CBS 2's Jessica Layton shows us how neighbors are stepping up to help the tenant in the East Village. You still have your hospital bands? Yeah, this one. And this one. In the hospital and rehab for two months with COVID, Rio Nagaoka couldn't wait to be back home Wednesday, where he's lived more than two decades. I tried to the, the door with my key. Didn't work. Yeah, I was uh, surprised. So when the super opened the door for him, there was no way to prepare for what was or wasn't inside. I saw whole empty room, except the piano over there. The piano and his pet turtle. Everything else had been cleared out while he fought for his life. What shock or surprise? I just stunned. Well-known realtor Barbara Corcoran, who owns the building with Alex Rodriguez reportedly, says as Rio's health deteriorated, so did the condition of his apartment, and a biotech crew was called in to clean it. Are you angry? No, you know, still not angry. I'm just stunned. As time went on, Corcoran says Adult Protective Services was called, but nobody could find the tenant from apartment 14. She claims the crew was told to save whatever it could from his place. But neighbors say management cleared the place out prematurely. Even his passport is gone. All day long, people have been bringing donations, cash, and then everyone asked for a GoFundMe, so we put that together. It's already raised $35,000. Fellow tenants spent the last two days bringing supplies like bags of clothes, blankets, even a bed, up four flights of stairs. The radio, the bunch of the socks, underwear, of course, food. Do you feel lucky? Yeah, I think so. Lucky to have kind neighbors looking out for him, determined to make this humble man feel happy at home again. In the East Village, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Neighbors say next they want to help Rio find legal counsel and a job. Management did spend the day making renovations to the apartment, and according to the GoFundMe page, building owner Barbara Corcoran donated $12,000.